Hey, thanks for coming back and watching another episode in my COVID model build series. This time I got the U-Wing from Ravel, which is a pretty basic kit, but I did some modifications to it. I was going to light it, but I decided not to. I don't feel that I need to light up every model that I have, but I just wanted to make it look pretty nice and I did a little bit of modifications. So here's the bottom. You can see there's a compartment for a battery because it had some lights built in. I left the paint, just went through and started scratching away and scuffing up the paint. Then I did a black wash over the entire model. Did some pastels and some panels to darken them up. Um, took some sandpaper, buffed some of the blue paint and all to make it look faded. More black wash here. The engines, I'd use some Tamiya pastels and just darkened it up. I also purchased some third-party 3D printed parts like the repulsor block cooling fins at the top and then also the engine nozzles to go on the end of the engines, a little more detailed. And I started with the uh, cooling block because it, I cut it down, it was a little bit too big, so I cut a portion of it off. If you look at this image on the left side it's a 90 degree angle well it's supposed to be angled so I sanded that down with some sandpaper and made it more angled like you see here in that upper left section of it and then I went through and I painted the cooling blocks black and added a little bit of metallic pastel to it and then I glued those into position on the back of the uh, reactor core on the back of the ship and you can also see where I weathered the reactor core and added some rust wash as well. And here we have the engine nozzles and I glued those in place on the backs of the engines and then went through and I gave them a coat of gray paint and went through the engines again and just dirtied them up with some pastels, added some rust wash and things like that. The lasers were also not the greatest looking so I made some out of some copper tubing cut the original plastic ones off and glued on my copper tubing ones gave them a coat of some gray primer and then again dirtied those up with some Tamiya pastels and weathered them. On the bottom of the ship I covered up that compartment for the batteries filled it in repainted the entire bottom with a gray primer and weathered it up and scuffed it up and then I added some styrene pieces here on the sides and printed out some wall shapes and glued them to the styrene so that looking inside you would see some wall panels. And that was about it. We have the finished product here. I'm happy with the way it turned out. The kit is a pretty decent kit, you know, just lacking in a little bit of detail, but done up, you know, with some painting and all. It looks pretty nice. As far as lighting and things go, uh, again I was considering it but I'm kind of reserving that for more of my special models, actually more like the original trilogy. Those are primarily the ones that I'll be adding lights to. But I just wanted to have this ship because it is a cool ship and it's nice to have it in my uh, collection of Star Wars model vehicles. So I hope you enjoyed uh, this model kit and the build and until next time. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you like watching my videos, please feel free to give them a like. And so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos, click subscribe.